Greatest Cards of All Time podcast number 32. Taking a look at a 1952 Tops Al Widmar, card number 133 in the set. This does happen to be a red back 1952 Tops variety. This man, five years as a major league pitcher. Maybe not the best numbers you've ever seen, maybe not the best career you've ever seen, but I think it's still one of the best careers because any time we look at any of these old guys, they're burping a baby and they're going to work at the coal mine and they're right. playing a full season of baseball too. These what? are the early days and I always respect that is what I'm trying this to say. This guy, I don't know if you knew this, actually in the off season for three years he played pro basketball in order to stay in shape interesting really so, yeah in the late 40s he played basketball for a couple of different teams to just kind of stay in shape so wow. yeah he was a very good athlete yeah he said he only played what 1947 and 1952 five but years yeah 47 he only played in two games and and actually 52 with the Sox, which what do you think about this uniform? I, I was there's <laughs> nothing kind of blank. on it. It's there's, blank. there's nothing on it. I, I was looking up gray. other fifty two tops for the White Sox. I cannot find any other card where there's like no pinstripe. A lot of them would have the socks on the left chest. I'm thinking and, looking at the background there, there's some trees. I don't think they're at a major league field. Maybe this is like practice or warm ups or he showed up for the picture right. and he only had this gray blank uniform. I just thought it was <clears throat> interesting, you know, something something worth pointing out. Uh, as far, you know, he didn't play a long time. He wasn't he wasn't in Major League Baseball a long time as a player. However, he was in pro baseball for like fifty nine years total. He ended up being a professional coach, a pitching coach for almost thirty years with various different professional teams and minor league teams. As far as his career war, it was three point three, not great. Wins thirteen. Loss is 30. It's not ERA. negative. No, it's not. It's <laughs> not, not a negative, negative war. He helped his team. ERA of 5.21. And the last year, this has got to be his last card. In 1952, he actually only played in one game. I thought that was interesting. How cool is that? Out. So he only played one game with the White Sox. That's why he's got a blank uniform Probably. here and he's standing out in a grass field. Probably. He only pitched for two innings. And then he actually finished his career in, in the minors from 1952 to 1958. Yeah, 45 years as a coach and a manager. He was just all over the place. Loved baseball, obviously. He was around the game his whole life, it seems like. Yeah, after his playing career, he was named the manager of the Tulsa Oilers, a double-A team. Uh, that was back in 55, so shortly after his playing career ended there in 52, as we look at that 52 tops. Later became a pitching coach in the big leagues for the Phillies, the Brewers, and the Orioles. Um, also the Blue Jays, and then it seemed like he took a liking to the Blue Jays later in his career um, in a assistant manager position too for a very long time for the toronto blue jays special assistant to the general manager is the official title and he was with the blue jays until the year 2000 actually which is you know incredible these guys can stay dedicated to baseball so long and really do it in a high level as well and in good fashion and then he passed away in 2005 at the ripe age of 80 years old. So really just a lifetime in baseball. What a legend. Yeah, baseball. Again, let's not forget about the basketball because I'm looking at the back of the card here. And it says he was coach of the Scranton University freshman basketball team when he was traded from the White Sox to the Browns during the winter. When I looked at the card, my eyes just automatically saw baseball. But when I realized, you know, he played pro basketball for three seasons in the late 30s, I looked at the back again and realized he was actually a coach for basketball. So, I mean, he coached baseball for, for decades. He played baseball for a decade or so. Yeah. Just an all-around good athlete. 
Always around the game. Played for the Red Sox, the Browns, and the White Sox in the uh, big leagues. As far as the card itself, great shape, solid centering. It's a uh, cool card, yeah. Outside in a field, the uniform brings in some questions. The logo. Really makes it look unique. The logo, gotta love the White Sox logo there. I, I happen to love a card like this. Great 1952.